is a group provider to the West End District by School District. We are a third party administrator, which is U.S. Omni and PSA. You can see we're one of the many providers that are provided on there. On there, we're also part of Four Kids for Our Future. It's a nonprofit where we're actually giving back to the schools. That's why you guys are receiving uh, four square balls, basketballs, volleyballs, and soccer balls in the back. Thank you. Well, we've been doing this for seven years now. In as many schools, not only here in LAUSD, out in the Inland Empire, and Southern California in general as well. These are just pictures of a couple of the places that we've done this at as well. And we also do what's called the Life Changer of the Month, which I believe Javier's going to be talking to you, Chris McCohen, about selecting an individual. What the Life Changer of the Month is, it is recognition. During that time, we actually will recognize an educator, could be a school district employee, we've had janitors, even current volunteers win this award. And through that, you actually get a certificate of recognition, uh, Amazon Fire Tablet, or a gift card. But more importantly, this gives you an opportunity to be entered into our national contest where you can actually win $10,000. Yes. $5,000 goes to the school, $5,000 goes to the individual. Now, why is that important? We only had 281 applicants last year alone. So the chances are pretty, pretty good that individuals can actually win if the uh, it's entered. And Chris will go and I'll send you the link so you can go ahead and type in on the part of you guys select as well. And this is just one of the individuals that got selected recently, um, one, of, uh, one of your schools here in LA was state. Let's get to the meat of it. Basically, what we're here to talk about. Seven keys to maximize your retirement. Now, let me ask you a simple question. How many want a great retirement or a so-so retirement? Uh, yeah. Is anybody worried about that? When I say so-so, would you like to be that teacher that retires and then comes back to school the following Monday to substitute teach? Well, we're here to basically secure your retirement so that you can have a great retirement. And if you choose to do that, if you have the passion to do that, great. But if you have the choice of whether to come back to work or not. Now, we are pension experts. One of the things that we do, we will actually educate you as far as how your pension actually works. And more importantly, the three components of the CalSTRS pension plan on that. So one of the services that we provide is that we will educate you and we'll actually help you get access to your own pension plan and help you understand it as well. So first key that we talk about is know your expected pension. How many people know how much the average pension payout is here at retail stores? Any guesses? It's probably about half. So just imagine most people are retiring at about 50 to 60% of their income when they go into retirement. So let's do a quick exercise. We're going to look at Jane, the teacher, start teaching at age 31, and she wants to retire at age 60. So we're going to assume, uh, barring any leave of absences, that she has 29 years of service during this time. Now, the way this works, we multiply that by her age factor, which is 2% at age 60, and we get a PI factor of 58%. Now, keep that number in mind because we're going to come back and revisit this. Yes, go ahead. What's that age? I don't understand the age factor. This is actually in your handbook. On there, and we're going to actually show you a graph right now to show you how the pension plan actually works. And some individuals that has anybody started working after January 1 of 2013? Anybody in this room? Okay, very important you guys get to know what your pension plan should look like. Essentially, there's two different types of pensions that are available. If you were hired prior to, prior to January 1 of uh, 2013, okay, you will reach the maximum depending on when you receive your 30 years of credit by age 62. So there's potential that you can retire at age 62. If you are here, unfortunately, you won't be able to reach your maximum until age 66. Okay. And, yes, it sounds like bad news, but let me, uh, let me tell you one thing. They are already talking about refining the pension plan again. So people that are coming come in probably in the next couple of years. Seventy five. Yeah. hundred. Yes. Yeah. Seventy five. Let's really? get started. Social Security. Yes. Question. What if you started prior to um, January first, two thousand thirteen, but you started as a sub? If you started as a sub, that will come. I actually had a client. She thought she was on here on the green side, but because she started subbing in September of two thousand, I'm sorry, two thousand and twelve, she qualified for the blue side. So you're good. Right. Uh, she's doing the now, one of the things that we will do for you once you meet with us, we will take you to the counselor's website, help you set up your login ID up here. 
but more importantly, we're going to help you understand how to estimate your retirement. So if you want to retire at 62, 65, whatever that time is, we will show you how you can actually calculate that and get a very accurate estimate of what it's going to look like as far as what the percentage wise. All right, so key number two, know your expected income gap. Very important because most people fail to account for this when they go into retirement. So let's go back to Jane, the teacher. We already established that she's going to receive roughly about $52,200 a month, which equates to $4,350 a month. Is that adequate for the day? Definitely not here for the so state. So money is not taxed, right? Uh, that money is not this taxed. Is not, no, this is, thank you, you just stole my thunder. That is taxed. That's, that's the that. one missing. This is I'm gross. So this is gross. gross. This is going to be. So that's not the actual payouts. No. No. Because no. you got to pay taxes. Right. This, is third, this is for thirds. This is for thirds. Thirds is treated, treated the same way. No, but this is just thirds. Thirds and not. Right now, this is just thirds. We're just focusing on small If there's anybody here that's CalPERS, we also know the CalPERS system. We can assist you with that as well. So let's summarize what we're talking about. This is what we call your piece of the pie. And we've already established that most people are going to end up right here when they go into retirement. This shows 100% of your working income to date. So most individuals are roughly going to be here. But thank you, thank you, you know, your lucky stars that you do have a pension because most people in the private world do not. Unfortunately, that is taxable. So we always recommend that everybody check in with their CPA before they apply for retirement. You need to know what your tax bracket is going to look like on there. Most retirees, they lose their, they basically have their home paid off and their kids may be gone. Actually, most of them are still living at home. I have one living at home right now. But I can't deduct them anymore. I can't write them off as well. And that's what happens to most retirees as well. So let's look at what your income gap. This is your responsibility. Now, most educators use 403Bs, private sector use 401Ks and IRAs, and through contributions they use that to fill that gap. The unfortunate thing is that when that money comes out, that is also taxable and it can decrease over your lifetime. That is the number one fear for most people in retirement today, that they are going to outlive the money that they have. So when you meet with us, we're gonna show you how you can take advantage of an option that's gonna give you lifetime income, that's gonna work side by side with your CalSTRS, but more importantly, make it tax-free. So if taxes go up in the future, you won't be affected with that portion of your income as well. So let's talk about maximizing your tax-free income is why that's important. In the handbook, and this just blow up right off, the, right off the website, it shows that monthly benefits are taxed as ordinary income. So here's a question for you. How many believe that taxes are going to be higher or lower in the next 20 to 25 years? I'm in the office. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to be the bad news, but that really That's doesn't exactly. make a difference who's in office. Okay. Anybody believe that they're going to be lower? No. I mean, we've got a trillion dollars just put into our economy. Uh, we have economic view. And more importantly, the term tax cuts have a sunset cost that's going to expire January 1 of 2026. So it's going to start happening real, real soon for most people. So now, we already talked about taxes. Now this is the other thing. Plan for your survivors option today. So let's go through what that is. You have an option of retirement to cover your spouse or loved one or dependent with your pension. You have an option of taking it at 100%, 75%, or 50%. So I'm gonna take you through an example of what that looks like. So here's an example right off the CalSTRS website of an individual who retires, and they're basically making $10,000 a year out of $10,000 a month when they go into retirement. They have 30 years, they're 63, so by the time they retire, they're gonna receive $7,200 a month, which is 72% at that time. If they take the modified benefit, this is what it's going to look like. Here's your full pension. Now, if you want to cover your significant other, 50%, it's going to cost you a little less than $500 a month to cover. If you want to cover them at 75, that's over $700 a month. And if you want to give them 100%, that's over $1,000 a month. Now, what is this? In the pension, not just CalSTRS, but every pension, including federal, this is called a survivor's annuity plan or SAP for short. And what that is, that is a form of life insurance that CalSTRS actually issues out to you. Here's the problem with that. Let's say you do this for 10 years and you're covering your spouse at 100%. You're giving up $1,000 a month, which equates to $120,000 over a 10 year period. Your spouse stops. You go back up to your full pension, but the $120,000 CalSTRS keeps, okay? You don't get a dime of it. 
So in the CalSTRS handbook, it actually says that if you have a permanent life insurance, you can eliminate the need for that SAP and take your full pension while still covering your spouse. And most people just don't read their handbook to, to basically do that option. More strategically, because you can take it for a lot less than $1,000 a month while you're still working and have it completely paid off by the time you retire. All right, so key number five, lock in your life insurance while you have the money in health. That is important, okay? You guys are thinking about being very strategic about taking your full pension, do it today. You will never get a better rating than you will today. The older you get, your health can deteriorate, the higher it's going to be to actually get it, right? So we recommend that you do start looking into that and we can help you with that as well. So key number six, reverse line, eliminate your stock market risk and uncertainty. With everything that's going on with the economy, that's top of mind for many individuals right now. So there's three things, three investment options you can do. This graph actually shows an individual that puts $100,000 in the market and just lets it ride. So first line is the red line, that's the stock market. That's a wonderful roller coaster that we have going up and down. Second line is the fixed account. That's why you see it straight. Third line is called index, index strategy. Anybody know what index strategy is? Okay, indexing is this. It is a fixed account that mirrors the market up to a certain cap, sometimes as high as nine or 10%. What that means is the market goes up 10%, you're gonna see 10% in your account. If the market goes down afterwards, you stay put, keeping your profit and your principal intact. So let me illustrate how that works. Here we go in the stock market. They had a great then, and then of course the, everybody remember the dot-com bubble burst? Okay, that affected many people's account. The index account stayed right there at $108,000. Now let's go fast forward to 2008. Everybody remembers 2008, correct? Okay. When that person went down to 73,000, this person stayed exactly where they're at, at 145. They didn't make any money. They didn't see any losses. And that's the key thing with that. Now let's fast forward to today. Even today, with the, the stock market rebounding, indexing is still ahead of it. But this is the most important takeaway from this. When the market drops, as it always does, the people on the red line are going to go that way. Well, the people on the blue line are going to stay exactly where they're at. Many people in 2008 had to delay their retirement by four to five years just because of that single incident. And we can actually help you protect against that ever happening to you when you're about to retire. All right, last key, leverage the power of living benefits. Anybody understand the hearing what's going on with long-term care? Long-term care is going to be mandated in 2025 for everybody, not just school teachers, okay? myself included. You can actually protect yourself against that. So we have a solution for you. Remember when we talked about permanent life insurance? Life insurance, I heard somebody say life insurance you don't have the time to use. Here it is, okay? So this is a life insurance plan that obviously has a life insurance component to help protect your spouse, but it also has the additional benefit that if you ever get sick, terminal illness, critical illness, chronic illness, you need care of any kind, this plan can actually pay for those costs. We actually had a teacher roughly going about eight years ago, we really gotta find that video of her, where she got she got one of these plans, nine months into she got diagnosed with a very rare form of cancer. Her only cure was something called, I think, bloodletting, where they were taking her blood and then replacing it, not covered here in the US by any health plan, only available in Germany. So her doctor had to declare her terminal the company issued her a check for $123,000, which she then used for that treatment in Germany. And she's alive today because of it. That's the power of this. And then the third component, there's cash value with this. So if you have an emergency, investment opportunity, or you just need to supplement your, your retirement income, you can actually access that cash value 100% tax-free at that point. So it's another availability that you have to get tax-free income. Again, insurance you don't have to die to use. Now, we passed out a questionnaire right here. What we ask you to do is please print clearly, because we're always trying to figure out who's, who wrote what.